Hi everybody, welcome to Cash Flow Properties, the channel which tells you all about uh, buy to rent and how to create a passive income from rental income. This week we're going off piste a little bit because I want to tell you about refurbishments. Now you can refurbish a property to rent or you can refurb it to flip, to make a wedge of cash. Now you need to be a bit careful about this because the secret is in what you buy how much you pay for it and where it is. Last week I was up in uh, the northern part of the UK. I was up there to start a refurb on a property that um, we just purchased. Unfortunately the uh, completion didn't happen in the period it was supposed to um, so I didn't get around to, to get stuck into that one. Something that happens, you just have to be a little bit flexible with these things. Uh, okay so this is a property that I bought and refurbed a few years ago. The most important thing and what made this property really quite a lucrative uh, flip was its location. It was in the centre of Hove. Now if you know the South East you'll know Hove and Brighton are booming areas, still are. The other thing this flat had, it was grotty and it was tiny. I knew a way I was going to add value to that property. This is what it looked like when I bought it. Pictures are rubbish, but believe me, the property was not a lot better. What I did with it, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. We were going to put dormer windows in. Now I knew we had a really good chance of getting dormer windows into that building because if you look around the street, even though it was in a conservation area, everybody else had done it because I had good evidence to show that this had been done all around. Don't ever assume that that will always happen. Obviously before I bought it I did all my pre-checks. So we drew up the plans, we got it passed. Um, there were a few objections from some of the neighbours. We had to change a few things, not massively. And uh, the refurb got done. This is the after pictures of, of what we did to the property. <laughs> bit of a change, not dramatic, uh, but we did enough to add a lot of value to that property. When you went in it, originally it was dark, had sloping ceilings, it wasn't a great layout. Okay, so you go in it after we finished with it, it was big, bright, nice, new carpets, new bathrooms, kitchen spruced up, refitted out, everything that made it look at first sight a fabulous place. And don't forget the location, the location was crucial. And one other thing which I haven't told you about was that that property came with a parking space. And they're like gold dust. They're, they're, they're like gold dust in those, it's like central London, they are gold dust. So that place had a lot going for it. Um, we bought it at a really good price because it was so tiny and dark and dingy, even with the car parking space, they were having trouble uh, shifting it. So there you go, that's it really. Not what I was going to talk about this week to you, um, but I hope that gives you an idea. Flips are good. If you find the right one and you do all your research, you can make money on it. And that money will then help you put deposits on some rental properties maybe, or maybe to flip again. I think Jason's going to talk to you next week uh, about something. Uh, what it is, I don't know yet, but I'm sure I will find out in the week coming. So that's it really from me. I'll see you very soon. Until then, take care.